Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you my DIY uh, three channel um, to four channel uh, airplane. This is a, I would consider this a micro airplane. Um, uh, for a while I've been wanting to build my own uh, airplane to get into the hobby and uh, it's been really hard trying to find out um, what to do and so uh, I just want to make a little video. Um, this it's actually a pretty successful build. Um, I decided to um, buy all my parts off of Hobby King and Banggood, and I'll just go through some of those. So for the flight board, I use the WL Toys F929. It is a four-channel um, option for an airplane. So if I zoom in here, you can see the motor comes out here. You have an option to add another servo for a fourth channel for ailerons and then um, you have uh, two servos for rudder and for uh, elevator um, so basically I just took this uh, a beaver seaplane rubber band model from Hobby King um, I took off the uh, water skid plates and uh, just removed them this actually works as good as a, a skid plate and a little bit of weight up front so it can balance the CG of the plane. Um, I'm using, uh, so once again, is the F929 flight board um, with the F929 motor and prop. Uh, all these are available on Banggood for very cheap. Uh, and then I used uh, some piano wire with some coffee stir sticks to keep these planted so they're stiff. And then uh, here, um, you can see that uh, I have an elevator running off here and the rudder here. So I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, that actually works really well. And then uh, show you some rudder. This is the first plane I built. Um, I don't really have any. Uh, previous experience with building a, a plane. That's why I wanted to build a microplane that was pretty durable and really cheap. Um, from my experience, um, it actually flies really well, and uh, I was really surprised. Um, so yeah, it's really simple to put together. Probably took me about an hour just to build it and kind of customize it. The hardest part were just um, I had to cut off a bunch of the rudder that was here, and then I had to cut out. Um, parts of the rudder here so it would go up together and also had to control uh, connect both of these control surfaces with a little pa plastic piece um, had to cut out notches to make them bigger you can see this the default notch was right here but uh, had to make it a bigger control surface um, I just used an existing servo um, I cut it off and then actually glued it to a piece of plastic and then glued it on the um, the uh, the rudder surface there. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit. So you can just see how that is. Um, so most things are, I have the flight controller on this side of the board, um, and then the motor actually has to mount on the other side. Um, it is off-centered a little bit, but I haven't noticed that uh, being any issue as it's flying. Um, I did adjust a little bit of rudder. And then to off-center the flight board, I have uh, the motor on this side, and then I have a battery just taped. Um, the CG is actually right um, there. So just right under the back of the wing, it's right on this uh, second uh, mount for the wing. Um, so it's actually flies pretty good. Um, flight time, well learning to fly this I crashed it quite a bit. I've had to uh, hot glue this motor on a couple times. I chose hot glue because I want it to break off if it gets hit pretty hard in the front. But with flight times um, a uh, 160 milliamp battery has lasted uh, over 10 minutes and uh, it's still going so I, I hope you know, I have a um, bunch of these, so I'm hoping that I can really um, learn to fly this really well. Uh, Performance-wise, I will upload a video of it flying later on, but I was able to do a loop um, 
and uh, was able to um, just do some basic flying around. Uh, it actually does have quite a bit of performance. Um, and uh, in the future, um, because I'm using my own flight board, I have the option to add ailerons. So I will eventually add those um, up here by adding that existing servo. And uh, maybe I'll just even build um, a whole different model using these same components. That's kind of why I like it. So what I'm doing is um, the F929 airplane from WL Toys, the flight controller is actually compatible with the uh, Micro Heli V911, which I do have. Um, you can actually take this flight controller and put it in this. Um, the only reason I chose the F929 is it does have an option for a fourth channel. Um, so I can actually go up to that if I need to. But uh, yeah, if you want to see uh, it in action one more time here. Still, um, it's actually got quite a bit of throw here. Um, let me show you the throttle here. So yeah, um, flies really good. I will get a, uh, a flight video out to you guys so you can see it, but I just really wanted, I could not find anything like this um, that someone put on YouTube just to make a, an actual how-to. Um, so hopefully I provided enough information. I will provide all the links um, in, the, uh, in the description of this video, but you know I'm actually really happy with this. Um, flies really well. Um, in low winds um, but uh, yeah let me know if you guys have any questions um, it's been really fun if you got if there are enough requests I could potentially do a more of a how-to video but it's actually really easy I just hot glued the parts on and cut out a few things and um, you know kind of experimented but uh, I might actually try a couple different models um, from Hobby King but uh, this is the, one of my I wanted one that was at least a 500 millimeter wingspan, and this is a, actually 480, so it actually has a lot of wingspan, flies really slow. But uh, yeah, thanks guys, have a great day.